Do you know that Tesla is working on a supercomputer that's like nothing you've ever seen before? And although it's not gained much attraction, I assure you it'll blow you away. Do not believe me? Well, watch this video as we reveal to you, Dojo, the Tesla supercomputer. Tesla has just disclosed some fresh information about the Dojo, the cornerstone of the company's efforts to become a pioneer in AI. In case you are unaware, in order to train AI, huge quantities of processing power are required. This is a process data that in turn feeds the algorithm. This is often done with an immense number of GPUs. With Dojo, however, Tesla is making an effort to reinvent the whole idea. So let's see how Dojo operates and why it's a better answer for AI training than anything that has come before it. One of Elon Musk's preferred modes of thinking is first principle thinking, which entails coming at a problem with a clean slate without reference to precedent. Also, you create your plan from the ground up. The most important thing you've learned from all Tesla has shared about Dojo is that it's a modern twist on the age-old concept of the supercomputer. Computing is an evolving sector, forever slaying the dragon of ever-increasing processing power. The number of calculations a supercomputer can complete in a second is a standard performance metric. The number of operations per second is measured in flops. The phrase teraflop is used rather regularly. The majority of today's consumer electronics operate at this scale. An operation rate of one teraflip is one trillion flops per second. For a reference about how far the technology has come in 2022, you need to know that the world's most powerful supercomputer achieved a performance of 1.1 million teraflops, also known as 1.1 exaflops or 1 quintillion operations per second. Once Tesla made the strategic decision to integrate AI into the company's operations, the demand for a supercomputer quickly arose. It was for this very specific purpose that the corporation developed the Dojo. Joe. In theory, we have standardized rules of the road and standardized road design and infrastructure, but in practice, the streets of American cities are a chaotic hellscape in many cases. Going back to the reasoning between the first principle, if you have a highly specific problem, you should create a highly specific solution. That's why it wouldn't be the best idea to simply utilize a generic supercomputer designed for climate modeling to train autonomous vehicles to drive in San Francisco. Francisco. Training a machine to drive is not dissimilar to instructing a human. You need to enroll the AI in driver's ed so it may get experience what it's like being behind the wheel. Every Tesla vehicle has exterior cameras that constantly record, and whenever the car detects something that could help the AI's driver training program, it sends a few seconds of footage to the central computer. We usually refer to these as edge cases. These are the unexpected things that happen on the road like an animal attacking your car or something falling out of the sky. Self-driving should be prepared for anything the actual world might throw at it. AI must absorb all of that data and use it to improve its ability. It is only after a lengthy amount of video processing that we can have faith in this program to assume full management of the vehicle with no human monitoring. There are already around 2 million Tesla vehicles on the road, which means that each second of uploaded footage will consist of 30 distinct frames at 1280 by 980 pixels multiplied by eight cameras. In contrast to more conventional AI businesses, which may only use spreadsheet data or single photos to train their algorithm, Tesla needs scientifically more computer capacity because of the unique way in which it trains its AI with video. This is how being handled by one of the world's most powerful GPU-based supercomputers, the Dojo. Now, according to reports, Tesla just increased their GPU cluster to a total of 7360 NVIDIA A100 GPUs, making it the fifth largest GPU count in the world. However, the Tesla AI team does not believe this method is scalable enough to make autopilot really self-driving. They may, of course, keep adding more and more GPUs, but doing so 
yields decreasing returns in terms of performance and efficiency. Further, there comes the point where the expense of adding more GPUs exceeds the benefits they provide. This is why early on the company started recruiting smart people from the surrounding tech scene. After 17 years with AMD working on Opteron processors, Emil Taples was recruited by Tesla. Even Tesla's current autopilot hardware architect, Bill Chang, has more than 15 years of experience working with IBM. He later joined Apple to assist with the switch to Apple's Silicon M1 CPUs. Tesla lured both these pupils and others away from prestigious positions at established IT giants with the promise of working on a groundbreaking artificial intelligence AI supercomputer from scratch. Dojo prioritizes three factors to ensure peak performance. These are scalability, efficiency, and bandwidth. The architecture of a typical supercomputer system resembles a hierarchical box model. That means you should initially focus on the central processing unit, which gets placed into a die, which gets put into a module, which gets put into a board which gets put into a rack, which gets put into a cabinet, and all of these are coupled to form a system. At each of these stages, the signal degrades, leading to lesser bandwidth and increased latency. The D1 chip, the foundation of Dojo, helps solve this issue. It is essentially a miniaturized computer, with its own central processing unit, dedicated memory, and input-output interfaces. Now, everything you need is contained within a solitary silicon chip. Envision if all the parts of your computer were miniaturized and integrated into a single chip the size of your palm. This helps in decreasing not only power consumption but also the size dramatically. When those D1 chips are combined to make a tile, that's when things get even better. It makes a square of silicon with 25 separate processors built into a 5x5 grid. Each chip communicates with one another flawlessly. It has been discovered that the inner chip latency is only 100 nanoseconds and the inner chip bandwidth is 9 terabytes per second. Every tile is also self-sufficient in terms of electricity and cooling. It only eats 15 kilowatts of power and carries individual thermal coolers. This means that 25 separate computers are sharing a single power supply and cooling system to communicate at a rate of 9 terabytes per second. Dojo can be expanded even more by relinking the tiles on a single large flat panel. This minimizes the space needed for electrical and mechanical connections between the various parts. These tiles would be placed in a three-dimensional structure with optical cables connecting each layer in a conventional supercomputer. Therefore, each tile has at least two and typically three points of contact with its neighbors. This enables Dojo's bandwidth through each tile edge to exceed 4.5 terabytes per second. Because each tile is self-contained, linking six tiles together into a single system would mean 150 computers in one. Now, to get to the exascale, which is Tesla's current goal for Dojo, would take a total of 120 tiles, or 3,000 D1 chips working together. This would allow Dojo to achieve around twice the processing power compared to Tesla's current GPU-based computer, which is built on 7,368 100 chips. Dojo would also come with the perk of using half as many chips, which require far less energy and space. That's exactly what Tesla hopes to achieve, something that can keep multiplying their current capacity, all while maintaining a sustainable design. This brings us to the end of the video. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and sharing so we can keep bringing you more content like this. Also, let us know your thoughts in the comments below.